If I blast this plexiglass tube with a with a 120 pound jet of air, the result is quite predictable. The, the tube offers quite a bit of resistance to the to the airflow and wants to be blown away. However, if, if I separate two parallel plates by exactly the diameter of this tube, by exactly double the diameter of this tube and place the tube exactly in the middle, something truly wonderful happens. The column offers no resistance to the airflow. And unlike me, this column isn't blown away by this demonstration. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mike Marsden, and I'm a physicist and hands-on engineer at the USCB Research and Development Center. And I'm about to show you something incredibly wonderful. These, these are O-beams and they possess some truly magical properties. For instance, if I subject this column to high speed air or water flow, they offer little, virtually no resistance to the flow. I affectionately named these beams after my president the Obama beam, and we hope to help him fulfill some of his infrastructure promises with them. The Obama beam exemplifies Bernoulli's physical principles of airflow and thermodynamics. If you blast a jet of air through a nozzle or a funnel with the idea of blowing a ball ejecting a ball across the room, it will not. And it doesn't matter what the ball is made out of. It can be a ball bearing, it can be a wooden ball, or just a ping pong ball. This occurs because the higher velocity air between the ball and the sides of the funnel decreases the pressure in front of the ball and conversely increases the pressure behind the ball. Now this, this thermal, this amazing thermodynamic phenomena is greatly enhanced by instead of using a ball we use an entire cylinder as in the Obama beam. I know I just did this, but this is fun. And they're even more fun when you play with them in the water, especially the swimming pool. The Obama beam seems to have an endless, endless application. They're ideal for bridge construction. Since the high velocity water flow offers no resistance to the columns, you've, you've probably all dragged a stick through the water at one time or another. We're amazed by 
as you do it, the stick just waggles through the water like a flag. And it doesn't matter whether you draw the stick through the water or the stick is stationary and the water passes the stick. The relative effect is the same. This waggling over time causes metal fatigue, which in turn has collapsed prematurely bridges all over the world, which puzzled engineers. The Obama beam can replace these antiquated structural designs with far, far greater strength and at a fraction of the materials used and create jobs here in America. The Obama beam can also generate static electricity to ionize the incoming air and then can be magnetically deflected to collection plates to produce electrical energy. The incredible strength and simplicity of the Obama beams allows for the high yield production of electrical energy at a fraction of the cost of wind turbines and no moving parts to maintain. The Obama beam can also harvest water from most atmospheres. Now I told you they were magical. As the air enters, flows between these two plates and around the cylinder it exactly doubles its velocity. This in turn decreases the air's temperature and when the air's temperature drops below dew point you can harvest water from the atmosphere. Now this exact same principle happens on your screen at home when it becomes saturated with water. The little squares fill up with water and run down the screen. Again, this occurs because the decreased cross-sectional area of the screen accelerates the air, thereby lowering its temperature below dew point. Voila, water. I envision Obama beams as future skyscrapers and by simply orientating them to the prevailing winds they can provide all the electrical and water needs for the entire building. And further in the future I see elevators that go far beyond the atmosphere using the Obama beam design with the new exotic materials like bucky tubes and, uh, and high strength aerogels. But for now, let's look at a couple of the simple mundane usages of the Obama beam. Uh, light racks on, on emergency vehicles that offer absolutely no, it does not impede the, the laminar flow across the vehicle, thus making high speed emergency vehicles safer to operate. By, simply by capping the ends of the Obama beam, you have a flotation device. Rafts, barges, boat hulls can be designed with virtually no drag through the water. Towers, communication towers can have a three-in-one function by producing clean energy and water as well. These patent pending Obama beams can be manufactured in an infinite variety of shapes, sizes, and materials. And I would like you and you entrepreneurs out there to contact me with further usages and the possibility of direct manufacturing involvement of specific applications. So please contact me at www.facesspeak.com and let's help put Americans back to work. And thank you for viewing just some of the potential and utter magic of the Obama beam. Thank you. Oh, and, and by the way, in the event that this, in the unlikely event that this tube cats reaches the White House, Mr. President, I can manufacture in all applications these Obama beams right here in America for export, export around the world. And you can help. God bless America.